used to think it was it made it impossible. Even with IVF, the biggest problem before what we call ICSI was uh, male factor infertility. Uh, if the count was too low or the sperm weren't good quality, they couldn't fertilize the egg even in a petri dish. So IVF really wasn't very successful until we figured out how to directly inject the sperm into the egg. And we were amongst the group that invented that procedure back in 1993. And so even if there's a few sperm, a few poorly modal sperm, we can pick those sperm up with high magnification, 400X, and a little tiny pipette invisible to the naked eye and actually inject, inject it into the Weiss egg. Uh, and we used to jokingly call it fertilization by brute force, but we'll literally inject that sperm. The sperm does not have to penetrate the egg. We'll actually do the injection. We call it ICSI, which is short for intracytoplasmic sperm injection, but ICSI is just the common word, I-C-S-I, -S and uh, we were among the early inventors of that. But it gets even more interesting. What if they have no sperm at all in the ejaculate? Well, most of the time, not all the time, but most of the time, if we do microsurgery on the testes, and we do it under local anesthesia, and it's painless, we can find a few occasional sperm in the testes that aren't getting out into the ejaculate. We can pick those sperm up and again, no matter how few, we can inject them into the Weiss eggs and we have a normal pregnancy rate. I, I remember a, an anecdote of a couple that came to me in the 1980s and uh, he had no sperm in the ejaculate. We had done a testicle biopsy and well, we really didn't, we saw that it was maturation arrest and he wasn't gonna be able, to, we told him we would never be able to have children naturally and they, they didn't wanna use donor sperm, so they were childless. 10 years later, I had to send them and hundreds of other letters saying, guess what? I think we can find sperm in your testicle. So we did, and uh, I remember this couple. It was a really phenomenal case, and they were the first couple that came back after I said, forget it, you can't have kids. And we went to the testes, we found just a few sperm, and he has two uh, normal babies now from that. In fact, those babies are grown up now, and and they're gonna have babies. Uh, so uh, I've seen several generations over my lifetime of uh, infertile couples and their kids. So at any rate, that's a long way of answering that we can solve the male factor, the male infertility problem now. Mm -hmm.